Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Most high in Christ bless. Most high in Christ bless. This is 15 minutes with the captains. I am Captain Amaziah. With me today I have... Officer Josiah. Officer Josiah is with me today. All right. Today's topic, brothers and sisters, we're going to get right to it. Tithing. Bring all that money to, this, to my storehouse. So we're going to go into Malachi 3 and 8. Will a man rob God? What does it mean? Does it mean make the make the make your pastor's bank account fat, and you 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 lacking? Let's find out. Give me Malachi three and eight. Malachi chapter three and verse eight. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, wherein have ye robbed thee? Uh huh. In tithes and offerings. In tithes, you rob God in tithes and offerings. Ha. That's it. Yes, sir. All right. So now let's find out what is tithes. Let's find out if it lines up with what your church is doing on a Sunday afternoon. Let's go to Deuteronomy 14. And we're going to start at verse 22. Deuteronomy chapter 14 and verse 22. Thou shalt truly tithe all. Thou, thou shalt truly tithe all the increase of thy seed. Of thy what? Of thy seed. You didn't say money? Of thy seed. Of your seed. You're going to truly tithe all the increase of your seed. Read. That the field bringeth forth year by year. No, that the bank account brings forth year by year. That the field bringeth forth okay. year by year. Go ahead. By year. So a field brings forth. You plant the seed in a field and it brings forth what? Crops, brothers and sisters. Keep reading. So, so far, nothing about money. Go ahead. And thou shalt eat before the Lord thy God. You're going to eat before the Lord your God. In the place which he shall choose to place his name there. Wait, you're going to do this tithing in the place where the Lord your God shall choose. Is it the Ebenezer Church down the block or the Baptist uh, Episcopalian Church uh, um, around the corner? No, let's find out what is the place that the Most High God chose to put his name there. Second Chronicles 6 and 6. Let's find out. Where did God choose to do your tithing at when it was lawful to do the tithing anyway? Let's find out. Second Chronicles chapter 6 and verse 6. But I have chosen Jerusalem. Where? I have chosen Jerusalem. I have chosen Jerusalem. Not, not no church in America, but Jerusalem. That my name might be there. That my name might be there. There's more? Yes, sir. Go ahead. And have chosen David to be over my people Israel. Okay. So the place that God chose is Jerusalem. It's not your nasty, disgusting Baptist church, brothers and sisters, with your pastors shaking you down for your money. Go back. Go back. Read 23 one more time. Deuteronomy chapter 14 and verse 23. And thou shalt eat before the Lord thy God. Uh-huh. You're going to eat those tithes before the Lord your God. In the place which he shall choose to place his name there. That is Jerusalem. Second Chronicles 6 and 6 proves that. Go ahead. The tithe of thy corn. The tithe of your corn. Didn't mention anything about money. The tithe of your corn. Of thy wine. Wine. And of thine oil. 
oil, and the firstlings of thy herds, the firstlings of your herds, and of thy flocks, and of your flocks, that thou mayst learn to fear the Lord thy God always, that you may learn to fear God always. Keep reading. And if the way be too long for thee. Now, it's, let's, now remember, this is in Jerusalem you got to do your tithes in. Let's say you live far from Jerusalem now. Go ahead. So that thou art not able to carry it. Let's say you're too far. You, you, got, a lot of, you got a lot of tithes. You got a lot of the corn, the oil, the first things are your flocks and your cattle. Go ahead. Or if the place be too far from thee, which the Lord thy God shall choose to set his name there. When the Lord thy God hath blessed thee, uh -huh. then thou shalt... Then, after that, the way is too long. It's too much of a burden for you to carry it. After that... Then shalt thou turn it into money. Damn. There go the money right there. Let's see what we're supposed to do with this money. Are we supposed to take this money, sell all my tithes and my corn and my crops and my oil? Are we supposed to take this money now that I got and give it to my nasty, disgusting pastor? Let's find out, brothers and sisters, what do we do with this money? Go ahead. And bind up the money in thine hand. Take the money in your hand. And shall go unto the place which the Lord thy God shall choose. Okay, so take the money. Still go to Jerusalem, brothers and sisters. And thou shalt bestow that money for whatsoever thy soul lusted after. And you turn that money into back into the tithes when you get to Jerusalem. You buy it back. Maybe you want some ox. Maybe you want some, some sheep. Go ahead. For oxen. Uh-huh. Or for sheep. Uh-huh. Or for wine. Go ahead. Or for strong drink. Uh-huh. Or for whatsoever thy soul desires. So wait a minute. I have read nothing so far where it says, take that money and give it to your pastor. It's not in the Bible, brothers and sisters. It's not there. Give it to your minister. Give it to the this fun and that fun. Pastor need a new car. He got to go on vacation with his family. The, that's not in the Bible, brothers and sisters. Keep reading. And thou shalt eat there before the Lord See thy that? God. And you're still going to go there and eat before the Lord your God. Go ahead. And thou shalt rejoice, thou and thine household. Now go back. No, no read the next verse. And the Levite, who? The, and the Levite, who? And the Levite, the tribe of Levi. Let's see what was going on with Levi. That is within thy gates. Uh huh. Thou shalt not forsake him. Remember, Levi was scattered through all eleven tribes. Levi got no inheritance because the Lord was was uh, Levi's inheritance. Okay, they were to do the service of God, meaning. Uh, um, sacrifice for the atonement of the sins of Israel, brothers and sisters. So they didn't have no land. Okay? Read that again. And the Levite that is within thy gates, uh -huh. thou shalt not forsake him. not leave Levi out. He didn't get no land. He can't get no crops of his own because he didn't get no land. For he hath no part nor inheritance with thee. Now go back to Malachi 3 and 8. Let's go back to the book of Malachi. Now, now we understand what biblical real tithes are, okay? Now let's go. Malachi chapter 3 and verse 8. Will a man rob God? You're going to rob God? You ain't going to put all that $200 in the plate as it's going by? You wicked as hell. Go ahead. Yet ye have robbed me. Uh-huh. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? We say, how do we rob you, God? In tithes and offerings? In tithes and offerings. So what is going on here? We rob God by not giving, not taking care of the tribe of Levi, brothers and sisters. With what? With the tithes. They're doing what? Atoning for your sin. Okay? You're doing what? Not taking care of Levi. L keep reading. Ye are cursed with a curse. No, no, hold that. Give me ne Nehemiah 10.37. Nehemiah 10.37 first. Before we go to verse 9. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 37. Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 37. And that we should, and that we should bring the first fruits of our dough. The first fruits of our dough. And of our offerings. Eat. 
and the fruit of all manner of trees, uh -huh. of wine uh -huh. and of oil, uh -huh. unto the priests, to the chambers of the house of our God, Read. and the tithes, the tithes of our ground unto the Levites, unto, who? unto the Levites, Read. that the same Levites might have the tithes in all the cities of our village. That the Levites may have the tithes in all thy cities where they dwell, right? Now go back, go back. Malachi 3 and 9 now. Malachi chapter 3 and verse 9. Ye are cursed with a curse. So now, because we didn't take care of Levi, God says, you're cursed with a curse. I'm going to curse you. You don't love your neighbor as yourself. You don't show charity to your brothers, Levi. That's atoning for your sins. Read. For ye have robbed me. You robbed God. Even this whole nation. And this is what the pastor will use against you to say, oh, you, you, to shame you to put all that money in the pot right there. That's what pastor's using against you, knowing that's not what it's talking about. Read that again. Ye, have, ye, ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. You robbed God by not taking care of the tribe of Levi. Read. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. Now, the Bible says, bring, the all, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. Give me 2 Chronicles 32, 28. 2 Chronicles chapter 32 and verse 28. Storehouses also for the increase of corn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. storehouses for what? Storehouses also for the increase of corn. For no, the increase of money. For the increase of corn. Money. Corn. Read. And wine. Money. Wine. Read. And oil. Money. Oil. Damn. I, the storehouse is my bank account, brother. Storehouses also for the increase of corn and wine and oil and stalls for all manner of beasts and coats for flocks. Y'all see that? The storehouse is for, for food, brothers and sisters. Food that you eat, not for your pastor's bank account. That's not the storehouse, brothers and sisters. Go back. Go back. Malachi chapter 3 and verse 10. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. The tithes into the storehouse. The food into the storehouse. Read. That there may be meat in my house. Money in my house. That there may be meat in mine house. Read. And prove me now herewith, said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven uh -huh. and pour you out a blessing, uh -huh. that there shall not be a room Ooh. enough to receive it. Ooh wee, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. This. I'm going to put the whole 200 in the pot to hell with it. I, gotta, I, I need a blessing. This is what pastor uses now to make you feel so good. You're going to reach in your pocket and put it all in the plate. Hoping you're gonna get a, you gonna get a, you gonna get a blessing you can't even run from. That's what that's what uh, uh, pastor's telling you. You can't even run from this blessing. Let's find out what is the blessing. Read it again. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. That there may be meat in mine house. Go ahead. And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven. If I will not open you the windows of heaven. Go ahead. And pour you out a blessing. From the, from the windows of heaven, you're going to get a blessing. That there, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. It's going to be so, so much of a blessing. It's going to be abundance, man. You can't even run from this blessing. You can't hide from this blessing. I'm going to bless you abundantly. What is that talking about with the windows of heaven? Genesis 7 and 11. Genesis chapter 7 and verse 11. The windows of heaven. Hmm. Let's see. Genesis 7 and 11. Genesis chapter 7 and verse 11. In the 600th year of Noah's life, uh -huh. in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up. Okay, okay. And the windows of heaven were opened. There go the windows of heaven again. Okay, keep going. And the rain. And the what? And the rain. And the what? And the rain uh -huh. was upon the earth. So what came out of the windows of heaven, brothers and sisters? Rain. Rain. That's what the, that's what the blessing is. I'm going to bless your land with the rain. So what? Your crops will grow, brothers and sisters. It ain't talking about uh, um, he's going to bless you with a, with, you're going to win the lotto and all that. It's not talking about I'm going to get you a new car. I'm going to get you the man you always wanted, sister. It's not talking about that. 
It's about rain so your crops can grow and you can have tithes in abundance and you can eat before the Lord your God. Go back now. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 12. So now we know what the windows of heaven are. Great. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 12. Come on. The Lord shall open up. Open unto thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure. His good treasure. What's coming out of his good treasure? Go ahead. The heaven to give the rain unto thy land. Ah, y'all see what y'all see what the good treasure is, brothers and sisters? The rain to do what? The, the heaven to give rain unto thy land in his season. To do what? And to bless all the work of thine hand. Y'all see that? To bless all the work of your hand. Go back now. Go back. Go back, 3 and 10, one more, one more again. Malachi chapter 3 and verse 10. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. Into the storehouse. All the, now we know what it's talking about. Bring all the crops, all the corn, all the oil into the storehouse. That there may be meat in my house. Read. And prove me now herewith, said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven. If I will not open you the windows of heaven, the, up in the heavens come, come out what? Rain. To do what? Bless the land. Go ahead. And pour you out a blessing. The blessing is the rain to help your crops grow. That there shall not be room, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Read on. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes. Now, what is that talking about? I'm going to rebuke the devourer for your sake. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and 38. Deuteronomy 28 and 38. Deuteronomy what does that say? chapter 28 and verse 38. Thou shalt carry much seed. You're going to carry much seed. Out into the field. Into the field. And shall gather but little in. Why? For the locusts shall consume it. The devourer is going to consume. They're going to devour your crops, brothers and sisters. That's what it's saying. You're cursed with the, this is Deuteronomy 28 chapter. In verse 15 through 68 is what? The curses, the curses. I'm going to rebuke the devourer, it says in, verse, in Malachi 3 and 11. I'm going to rebuke verse 38. Why? Because you're taking care of Levi now. Read verse 39. Verse 39. Thou shalt plant vineyards. You're going to plant vineyards. And dress them. Uh-huh. But thou shalt not gather. The, I'm sorry. But thou shalt neither drink of the wine nor gather the grapes. Uh-huh. For the worms shall. Eat them. Well, the worms shall eat it. So you got locusts, you got worms. Now go back to Malachi 3 and 11. Malachi chapter 3 and verse 11. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. For your sake, for you now doing what I told you to do and taking care of Levi, I'm going to let your corn, your crops, your oil, your stuff grow. Okay? Your crops, your land is going to be bountiful. You're going to have tithes for, for Levi and you're going to have abundance for yourself. I'm going to rebuke. The devourer, the worms, the locusts, and so forth. Read. And he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. See that? Go ahead. Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. All praise to the Most High, brothers and sisters. So this is 15 minutes with the captains. Now you know what real tithes is and is about. All right? And so that's 15 minutes. I'm Captain Amaziah. Officer Josiah. And we say shalom. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.